Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO expanded video. Today guys, we're looking at a card I bet you guys didn't know existed, and that is going to be Team Aqua's Kyogre. Yes, Team Aqua's Kyogre, it is a thing. It is a really amazing looking full art card, but how good is it really? Not very good. Uh, there's many issues with this. Now, this card came out in a mini set known as Double Crisis, which only features Team Magma and Team Aqua cards. There's other Team Aqua cards we can I can make a video on. There's some really cool ones in the set I can maybe try. There's also the Team Magma's Groudon EX, which I might make a video on. That one's a bit harder to make. This Kyogre, thankfully, can get powered up through Frostmoth, which is what we're going to be trying it with today is with Frostmoth to accelerate energy on it. Uh, now, there is a big problem with this card is its ability Power Saver. It cannot attack unless you have a full field of Team Aqua Pokemon in play. That's a bit of an issue. So we're going to counter that with a Alolan Muck here, allowing you to shut off your abilities. And Muck can be kind of cool too. It allows you to also shut off other basics. So your opponent's abilities will also be shut off, which can actually be pretty helpful in some scenarios. And that's what we're going to do. We have to get Muck in play to shut off Kyogre. Now you're like, why not play Silent Lab or Power Plant? Well, Kyogre's attack, Aqua Impact, does 80 plus 20 more damage for each retreat or each Colossus in your opponent's active retreat cost. So we have to play Galarmine to do more damage. This is pretty much just a worse my low tick V. It is a terrible deck Thursday, bad deck Monday type of deck. It's not a competitive deck at all, but we're gonna try to make this card work because it is a beautiful artwork and it is a card I bet some of you guys didn't even know existed. So before we get the video guys, course, shout out to the sponsor Card Cabin TCG. As always guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack codes, get them over at Card Cabin. Card Cabin sells codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys are there to pick up any set code like Battle Styles, Shiny Fates, Vivid Voltage, Cosmic Clips, Thorn Shield Base Set, or if you want to get any GX or promo codes, maybe you want to get yourself the new Galarian Rapidash V code, or you want to pick up the Gardevoir and Victini deck codes, get them over at Card Cabin. If you get any codes over at Card Cabin, of course, guys, at the checkout, you can use my discount code, code LDF for a 5% discount on your purchase at the checkout. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help out Card Cabin. So shout out Card Cabin, check them out, and use code LDF if you get any codes. Uh, yeah, time to look at the list. So yeah, bad deck, not a very good deck, but it's going to be fun to play. Um, again, this is a very cool artwork. Um... And again, it's a flawed card. We have to get a muck in play in order to make this card attack. Not only that, we have Aqua Impact, which only does 80 plus 20 more damage for each colors in the opponent's retreat cost. We have many ways to manipulate that. We have Galar Mine, which lets, which adds an extra two. We also have this Team Aqua's Muck, which I might as well play for the theme of the video, which also adds a colorless in the opponent's active retreat cost if they're not if they're not an Aqua Pokemon, which 10 out of 10 times they won't be. We also have Absol as another little way. Now, unfortunately, this card does need four waters and the best way to build it up is going to be through Frostmoth. Yes, this is a dual stage one deck, Muck and Frostmoth. Both need to be put into play in order for this card to attack. Um, there is another card called Team Aqua's Energy, which I did try out, but it was just not really, this wasn't it chief, um, because you actually have to discard it at the end of your turn, like a triple energy, which is terrible. It does provide two waters, like a rapid strike energy. We have to discard it. So it's pretty terrible because it's just triple energy 2.0 and I don't like it. Plus, if you have to discard a card, you just can't attack the next turn. It's just not a good card. It's not going to play it. Don't bother playing this card. It's not very good. We're just going to go pure water energy. Shout out to Outcast, by the way, for lending me some of these Team Aqua cards. Um, just want to get that out of there. Again, beautiful artwork. Not a very good attacker. We have to use Muck to shut off. But again, there's many uses for Muck. A lot of the time, Muck can be beneficial. It shuts off to Dene, Lele, Crobat, Eldegoss, Execute, Soda I don't know. There's like a jillion abilities it shuts off. It can really hurt your opponent. And a one with a muck can also be very powerful. There's many combos where in the late game, if you're, you know, your opponent knocks out a couple Kyogre's, you can like end them to a low hand size and then have muck in play. And if they don't draw anything and they can't use Dedenne or Crobat and they drew a quick ball, it's like, it's going to hurt even more. So muck and end is just a nice combo in this deck. That's like one of our better strategies we have to make it work. Um, I am playing Lele. I'm not going ham on the draw cards. As you know, there is the muck in the deck. And we have to put the muck in play as soon as possible to attack. So we can't really afford to play like Dedenne's and Crobats. So I'm just playing a Lele. Thank you, Ditto, for existing, though. Um, we got two Spirit Energy Retrievals for the engine. Nine waters. Three floats. Definitely maybe add an extra float. So we do have two Funny Fury Bells also. thought I had three in the deck, but I only had two. But the Funny Fury Belt is really cool. Gives your Kyogre from 190 HP, which is not terrible. It's actually decent to have 190 HP. But we can give it to 230 HP. So we can give it a bit more bulk. Uh, I'm trying out this Team Aqua admin. Not sure how I feel about it, but it does allow you to attach a base energy from a discard pile to your active Team Aqua Pokemon. This could be a kind of a cool tech card to have. Not sure it's needed, but I'm going to try it out going with the theme of the Aqua. Let me know down below. What do you guys prefer? Team Aqua or Team Magma? I'm a Magma guy, and you know what? I am replaying Pokemon Emerald right now, so I'm kind of in the mood to try out some Aqua stuff. Let's go see if we can win this crazy contraption. Let's try it out. Here we go, getting into our first match with Team Aqua's Kyogre. Let's see if we can get a win. And we do go first. Ooh, we're mapping against a Welder deck, though. 
which is not good. Yeah, and our start was pretty poop, as expected. We got no other basics. We have a quick ball for Tapu Lele, but that's about it. We didn't get any draw supporters either, as expected. All right, what are we playing against? Ooh, an Oracorio. Okay. We're gonna have to get Lele. Good thing it's in the deck. Oh, we got the gang. The gang's all there. We got the Snom, the Moths, the Mux. Just Lele for Cynthia, I guess. I don't know. Get the something for next turn. Pass. Hope they don't KO me. I guess they, the Oracorio start tells me they won't get a knockout on my Grimer. We do have the option to go collect if Grimer can live a couple turns. Grimer is honestly not a bad starter. Maybe we should play three Grimers in the deck because it's actually kind of good. Okay, they do have a Welder, but they don't have a good target for the Welder. Oracorio doesn't do anything to me, so we're chilling. We'll see what their main attacker is. I'm very curious to see what their main attacker in their deck is going to be. Now I wish I maybe grabbed End off the Tapu Lele because their hand is pretty big. Maybe End was the better play. Yo, they might just be playing Reshizard though, which pretty easy clap if it is a Reshizard deck. Oh, baby Blacephalon. That's not what I like to see. N is pretty good in this matchup, though, I gotta assume. Oh, N and Alolan and Muck are actually pretty busted. If they rely, if they rely on Oracorio GX and, like, a Jirachi engine. Muck is actually pretty good in this matchup. See, I told you, Muck was just a good card in general. Like, just being able to shut off abilities is always really powerful. Kind of wish I maybe played the Mind Down, because it looks like they are... No, no, they're not going to retreat. I thought they were going to go Blazer. I still want to put that down just to have it in play. And then we'll... Cynthia, we could have put the Funny Fear Belt on, in all honesty, just to give him more HP. Okay, that's not terrible. We got the Muck, too, which is good. Get his Ultra Ball for Snom. Get the Snom down. We'll just collect for two. To be honest, we could have gotten rid of the Muck, I guess, off that Ultra Ball, and we could have kept the energy around. Yeah. Well, there's the Team Aqu Team Aqua's Muck. Can't really use right now. We got a Belt, which is good again. We'll see what happens. I'm hoping my boy Grimer can live. That's why I put the Gallarmine down so they maybe can't move the Oracorio. And they can't just go like Welder Double Blaze or whatever it's called. Fireball Circus. Could have gotten Ditto too, in all honesty. We definitely want to get the Muck down as soon as possible, though. We'll see what happens. Well, honestly, we could put Muck in play. We could like maybe Guzma. No, we need another supporter. I was like, we can Guzma. Bring in like Lele. Let Lele get knocked out and like just have like the Muck slow them down. Muck is going to be really good in this matchup. So I kind of want to get it down as soon as possible. Okay. They just seem to not have anything, so that's good. There's an Ultra Ball. That can get us the Moth. We might actually be able to KO them here. I doubt it. Maybe, maybe. We need to do a lot of damage, though, to get a knockout. Do we want to put the Muck down? I think we do. We can always, like, cook something up. Get that Muck down now. And then they can't play any, like, Dedenny or anything like that, right? Now they're just slowed down completely. Ooh. We almost had him. We just needed a couple of cards, but we'll take what we can get. We are, Oh, we are right to Psychic. So they can hit me here. That's fine. Not a big deal. Um, just hold the hand for a turn. Don't want them to feel blow or the belt off, so I'm going to hold it. We have a pretty good hand, though. We can Superior 2 Energy. Juniper, we just need to find Energy and a Float Stone, and we can move the Muck. There's a Greens. Can that Greens give my opponent a knockout on my Alolan Muck this turn? Let's find out. I mean, what could they theoretically get? They would have to have... Heat Factory... Oh, no. Yeah, my Muck's a goner. Hate to see it. They're playing a green stack, too. No, dude. Don't kill my Muck, bro. Okay, now this is annoying. We could, like... End of 1 is probably our win condition, to be honest. Losing Muck's annoying, but they're not even playing abilities because they're playing a Greens engine. So it doesn't even matter. But we need the Muck in play, obviously. So now we can attack them next turn. We have to let Lele we have to let Lele take it, take it, take a knockout. But to be fair, they not they, we can end them to one if they knock out Muck, Lele, and then Kyogre. We can end them to one, which is pretty good when you're playing against a Greens Blacephalon deck. So end to one is going to be our ticket to winning this game, I guess. A little annoying that they got the knockout on my muck, though. Maybe they don't take it? Maybe they just hit me? No, no, not even a chance, bro. Yeah, losing the muck is definitely annoying. We can still hit them with an end of one in the late game, which is still pretty powerful. Still the ability to do that. Sorry, muck, but you had to be sacrificed for the greater good. 
Yeah, it's gonna have to be an end of one play, which we can pull off. Now that their heat factory's down too, end of one seems pretty cool. Right? Another juniper. Yeah, just do this. To be honest, we could have played Cynthia instead of Juniper, but I definitely Juniper. We have to get another Grimer down. We have Ditto. We have another Grimer in the deck. We have to get the Grimer here. We have to get another Gallermine too. That would be pretty good. Getting Gal. We could. Yeah, we need Gallermine. Okay, nice. We got the. We didn't get a supporter. That's fine though. We have the attack for next turn. We could sacrifice Absol. Like. Hmm. I don't know. I like the idea of them having to go through Lele. Plus, they knock out Lele here. We can actually replay it. So, that's actually fine. Yeah. I'm totally fine with them KOing my Lele here. I don't think they play any hand disruption. Do we ever want to bench Absol? I mean, I guess. There's no reason not to. We'll hold the hand, too. Hopefully, they don't boss KO me this turn. Like, if they have a boss on my Grimer, we pretty much are going to lose because like not looking good we can stretch her them back but it's like not good okay they did have a counter stadium fine though we still have a field blower we still have two gallon mines left four card hand what are the chances they have a gust what are the chances they even kill my tapu lele probably very high again the kill lele the kill kyogre we can end them to one that's our game plan if we can draw a quick ball i actually wouldn't mind going stretch her back the grimer and the muck because i do want to have another muck in the deck because Gust play is always something that can happen. We can end, I, well, we can end them to, we can end them to three. Then I guess actually, if they don't welder this turn, we can just end them to three. Go Kyogre and just kind of be like, yo, can you stop this Kyogre before I take all my prizes? And then if you knock out this Kyogre, we have another end coming your way. That could be our game plan. It's gonna have to just be down to end of one, and pray they don't have a gust this turn. If they have a gust, it's not looking good. Gust is just terrible. Okay, there's a welder. That's not a gust. That's good. The welder does build up the full cephalon though. The Kyogre does have 250 HP, though, which is quite a bit. And they only get one energy on, which is huge. Okay, we have Seeker, the Welder, that's fine. Doesn't really make a difference. We're still going to end them here. And will they KO my Lele? Hopefully they do. I don't think they have any other play. They could play Cramorant, I guess, in their deck. That could be something we have to look out for. Okay. Do they have it? They should have it. We go end to three, get the muck down. We need to find the Galar Mine or Field Blower too to get rid of that Scorched Earth. Another big thing we have to pump. I mean, if they just kill my Kyogre, we probably lose, but we'll see. All right, so promote the Kyogre. We got the energy in our hand. What do we draw? Lodestone. Okay. Do this. Get the Lele. We will play it first. Grab an N. Get their hand down nice and low. Go Floatstone. Floatstone. Drop the muck down. End them to three. Need to find a Galar mine. No Galar mines in sight. Yikes. That's not good. Let's get rid of this, I guess. And that's not good. We didn't get a Galar mine off that. Not ideal. Yeah, we didn't get rid of the Scorched Earth, which is what scares me. Because now we can potentially get KO'd. Because we couldn't bump the Scorched Earth. End of three. Hopefully it sticks. We didn't get another follow-up end. Oh, there's a Galar mine. Yeah, we didn't get a follow-up end play, which is also pretty bad. If they do KO me, we don't have that end of one. We might actually just lose the game here if we don't get something going ASAP. Not looking good. It's not looking good at all. We're pretty well set up. It's unfortunate the Muck isn't really that effective in this match because they play a Greens engine. If we were playing against a normal Blasphalon deck, it would be. We just pretty much pray Kyogre doesn't KO. We have 250 HP. We're actually pretty tank. We're pretty tanky. We're pretty tanky. Oh, a Clefairy. Oh, no. They could copy me. Okay. No, they do play Mew for some reason. Okay, interesting. Nice. Let's go. We got him. We got him. I don't... Why are they playing... I guess Mew and... Pl Bro, they act... Why do... They actually have the energy off that. Who's man's? No, there's the end. Okay. Let's do this. Get rid of that. Well, honestly, we could have kept them in play, but they're, like, completely dead drawn. We don't have to actually keep them in play. I'm gonna hold the hand too, I think, and just knock them out. I'm gonna hold the hand. We might have to end them if they knock me out. There's a chance. Clefairy can KO me, right? Maybe we shouldn't have played the Galar Mine, actually, because Clefairy can knock me out. But I want to get rid of the Scorched Earth so they don't draw cards. I don't know. We probably shouldn't have played. Okay, they build up a Blown anyways. I don't know why they wouldn't build up Clefairy. That's the better card to power up in this situation. 
Well, I mean, it's unlikely they draw out of this. If they don't play a Dedenne or anything, which they can't play anyways, like, I think we've got him. I think this end is going to stick for the rest of the game. We'll see. The only thing they can draw, they have to have a energy and they have to draw like a welder here or something. That's the only way they can get out of this. Uh, but if not, we're just going to run them over. And once they knock me out, we're just going to end them again. And uh, pray that gets us a dub. Let's go. Like, amen. We had a bit of a slow start there, but once we got that end, Galler mine, the muck is in play. They shut off. I guess I had to Denny and Lele. I don't know. Okay, let's try another game with the deck here. See if we can win. Ooh, we got paired against a fire deck again. I mean, whatever. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. It's better than Donk. Better than Honchkrow. Better than Ultra Necrozma. Better than all of those. All right, let's see how good our start's looking here. All right, we got the Aquas Grimer. Not a very good hand, though. We don't have any supporter, but we do see a mulligan, so we get some extra hope. Um, I don't know if we're going to get used to Magma's Muck. Ooh, they got Marnie in the deck. Maybe they're playing Victini VMAX. That'd be kind of funny, because we're in EX, which is like, you got V, and you got the GX. But we're like a generation below GX. That's kind of hilarious, bro. Maybe EX is like the power play. Nah, EX is, you know, they're better. EX is just power crept out of the format. Still fun to use this card, though. Still a pretty fun uh, Kyogre card to use. Another energy is not very helpful. There's Kyogre. Okay. One problem. We don't have the Alolan Muck. We probably should have played the Evo Incense, actually. But they play Marnie. So we might get Marnie tier, which I actually would prefer because his hand is pretty bad. Outside of maybe a supporter top deck. I mean, our start's looking decent, but yeah, we need to get a supporter here. I'm hoping our Grimer doesn't get KO'd. All right, never mind. I think we're chilling. We see an attachment to Dene. We just see a pass. Okay, then. We're still not drawing anything. All right, we're just going to play this Evo Incense. We'll grab this Muck. We can actually put into play. Get some value out of the Muck here and actually make it harder for the Dene to retreat. That's going to have to be the play for now until we can figure out a way to get a top deck. That's all we need is a top deck. So uh, thank you, Dead Draws. I was maybe going to not play that much energy down because we could bait a Marnie for my opponent, but... Now we can tramp the Dedenne. The retreat cost of each Pokemon in play is one more, so they have a two retreat. We do see a Houndoom and a Kiawe. Houndoom has a one retreat cost, so we have to make that thick. All right, what do we top deck? Finally, uh, get rid of this. Lele, please don't be prized. Thank you. We still need to find the Grimer and the Muck, obviously, but this is a start. I'm gonna Juniper. Yeah, it's fine. Well, yeah, it's fine. Losing Stretcher is not ideal, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, there's the Grimer. Ooh, Absol's pretty good, too. I actually kind of like keeping the Muck alive here. So, we'll just pass. Looks like next turn, we do have the attack. We can knock out the Dedenne, right? We'll have Muck, Absol. We got a Galler Mine. That's going to give them an extra four retreat cost. Level five retreat cost. No, they have a switch. They can't KO me, though. My man's a tank. Okay, what do we top deck? Another Juniper. All right, here we go. Juniper, we need to find a Lolan Muck here. Please do not whiff it. Saw that coming. Oh, they concede. We don't even get to attack them. Well, I'll take it, I guess. We got another dub with the deck. Sure, I mean, sure. The, the Team Aqua Powers is too much for my opponent to handle. All right, here we go. Again, another match. We'll see if we can get another win here. Hopefully, we can get a bit of a longer game this time, but we'll see. I guess that's the power of Kyogre. Just, just do good. All right, uh, we got a Kyogre start, which is not ideal. We can quick ball here for... I don't know. Let's see what we're playing against. Oh, Cramorant. That's annoying. Okay, well, that could be a problem. We'll get the Grimer. Once we get the Muck down, we're chilling. I mean, we have a pretty good start technically, but the Cramorant is kind of deadly. To be honest, we should have played the Galler Mine. Um... Oh, Decidueye Cramorant. Decidueye is definitely a problem. We And we'll see. The Cramorant's a little annoying, so we have to watch out for that, I guess. I mean, if all goes well next turn, we'll be chilling. I hate losing this Rescue Stretcher, though. Bit of an issue. Decidueye can't one-shot Kyogre without the ability, which is kind of nice. I guess we got a Funny Fear Belt on, which we will. But we need a Flow Zone this, actually. I don't know. I might just belt the Ditto if we don't evolve it, just to protect it. don't think it matters, but we'll see. We need to get a top deck here. A ball guy. Where will that get them? Sure. What are they playing? Are they... They're not playing Decidueye, are they? With, like... They're not playing the... They're not playing Decidueye from Darks of Blaze, are they? There's no way. I mean, it's not a bad card, but, I mean, it's... 
we're in EX. EXs can attack that Decidueye because it only says Vs and GXs. It's not just rule box Pokemon. That's kind of cool. They are playing it. Okay, well, that can't one-shot me. Not to mention, we can uh, attack it. But uh, it's not looking great so far. Our draws need to be a bit better. So we need to move this Kyogre with a Floatstone or Guzma, but I think I'd rather Floatstone. That was not a very good top good top deck there. Uh, Juniper. And okay, all right, not terrible. We can bench everything here. We'll save the Fighting Fury Belt. The Galar Mine's nice. They can't move the Jirachi, potentially. That could be pretty good. They could put a Turf Field in play, though, potentially. Oh, no. They got a Wind Shard. That's pretty bad, actually. They can Wind Shard one of my Pokemon here. Yeah, we definitely need to evolve these things ASAP. I'm not sure we're going to be able to attack my opponent next turn. We'll see, though. I don't think I'm going to end them. They have Decidueye. Ooh, there we go. We'll evolve the Snom, because this thing is protected. Well, Cynthia, yeah, I'm not going to end them. I know they have the Sidewai in their hand, but, like, they haven't done much else. So there's no point. Um, Not terrible. Bench you. Do we want to put this muck down? I don't mind having the muck in play. The, next, the more, the more uh, retreat, the better, you know. We'll just next turn, we'll go computer search for Floatstone, I think. We have more waters than Floatstones. That seems good. Not having a Mew in the deck is kind of kind of awkward, but I mean, bench sniping is not that good and expanded in my opinion. Well, it's good, but it's not popular. It's not something you run into every game. Maybe like out of 10 games, you run into two or three decks that have ways to damage your bench. See so if they attack me. They need a switch here. They had a research. Oh boy. I play center lady, bro. That's a troll. How much retreat does this thing have? Two already. I forgot this had a two retreat cost. Ooh, they got the switch. Yikes. That's not good. Can they KO me? They can. Okay, cool. Well, this thing can get knocked out now on the bench. We need to knock out the Decidueye here. I, the stretcher being in the discard really sucks, though, to be honest. I have 10 HP. We need to belt it, but we can't. Let's just get the muck. Get the muck down. Do this. Forest. Here we go. See, can we get the KO? We do, I think. Yeah, as long as we don't prize our, um, as long as we don't prize our float stones, we have the knockout. We are going to lose our other Kyogre potentially next turn to the wind shard, but we'll see. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Should have all our floats, right? Or at least one. Yeah, we got one in the deck. Okay, cool. All right, let's go. Let's go. We got him. I think this is KOing them too. They have a pretty big retreat cost. This should knock them out. Yeah, how much is that doing? 190. Ooh, we're so close to knocking out Cramorant. If we can get an Absol down, we can kill the Cram, but I don't think we're gonna be able to do that. So Cram's gonna be a little lucky, but now we're now we're chilling. We have no Guzma, so we can't I was hoping we can Guzma this, but we can't. This thing might get knocked out though. But we, do we have a field blower? We don't. I was gonna say we could blower this off and then put the fighting fairy belt back on. Not an option anymore. We'll see if Kyogre can get us a win. They can't still one-shot me with Decidueye, right? We have the belt on, so we're chilling for now. I am scared of that Cramorant, though. Cramorant is a little scary. Spit Shot could definitely be an issue for us, but we'll see. They could put a Muscle Band on and knock out two Kyogres. That could be annoying. My opponent plays a Tyreno. Sure thing, buddy. Sure. You do you. I haven't seen a Counter Stadium yet, either. They could attach the cram and then go spit shot with a DC. That's something we gotta watch out for. Do I want to be a seeker again? I think I do. And hold the hand for one more turn. I'll be a seeker for chorus. We want to keep up the chorus. I think we have the other Kyger in the deck. I mean, I hope we do. If not, it's gonna be a little awkward. But I have two candies. Mm, hopefully, it's in the deck. We can get another muck down. Yeah, definitely want to get the muck in play. Okay. Aqua Impact, 190 damage, or no, no, 170, yeah, yeah, bye, bye, bye. All right, what's our prize? Quick Ball, not bad, we can get Kyogre. Let's see if they knock me out here. I mean, yeah, they're shut off. The Mucks are really clutch, like, if they're trying to do another Dedenne or Eldegoss or Lele or Crobat, they can't do it. They have the energy, do they have a way to KO me? Leon, Muscle Band, Choice Band, hopefully not. There's a Tyreno, that's a meme, but whatever. The Ball Guy was kind of funny, though. That's actually not a bad tech card, to be honest. Ball Guy to Sidewire, are people sleeping on that? Are people really sleeping on that? I don't think so. We have the bench open for Absol now, which is really good. 
I'm actually going to wait to bench the Kyogre. I don't even know if it's in the deck, though. But I do want to wait to bench it. But we'll see if it's in the deck. Yeah, it's in there. Well, if we bench it now, we can power it up, which I do want to do, obviously. But at the same time, okay, we can burn a few few extra resources here we don't need. But if we save the Absol... Oh, no, we can't knock out Cramorant with Absol. No, we're still short. Okay, then we just bench Kyogre then. Well, I don't want to bench it just yet. I think we just... Aqua Impact. I don't want to bench Kyogre and have it, like, take damage. So we can get one shot by Decidueye. Yeah, we can't one shot Cram. We're actually just short. Even with the even with the Team Aqua's Muck and the Galar Mine and Absol, I don't... I think we're literally, like, 10... Or we're 20 damage off, I think. I think we're still stuck doing 190 damage. Right? If it had a 2 retreat cost, we could have gotten it. I could have end them, actually. That might not have been a bad play. Oh, they're down 4 energy now. Maybe they don't attack me. Yeah, I want to wait to play Kyogre. I don't want to bench it just yet, but I also need to have a pivot. Can't pivot anything. That's the problem with this deck, because we need to rely on floats on a pivot. Well, we're on, we're on course to winning. Actually, no. If we bench Absol here, we knock out their Eldegoss, and then when we attack Kyogre, we have to be able to move something. We just need to find our float. And we did prize a float stone, I think. So... Theoretically, we knock out the Aldegoss here, drop the Absol. I think we do 190, right? We do 190, knock out the uh, Eldegoss. We should win. Bye. And then we need to find a pivot when Kyogre gets knocked out. Unless we live next turn, which... Oh, they do have Dartrix. That might knock me out, actually. No! Oh, my. Are you serious, bro? I should have benched the Kyogre. Well, actually, I don't... We didn't have to. We just need to find a pivot. That's uh, pretty annoying. I didn't, I didn't see that coming, not gonna lie. That's hella annoying. Okay. What do we draw? N. Okay. So we just need to find... We just need to find uh, the float stone. We have one in the deck. Dang it, I really wanted to kill the Eldegoss. Do we have a Guzma play? No. Don't even have Guzma. That's unfortunate. Guzma could be pretty good here. Not having the stretcher is really bad, too. This is where it's like, bro, we don't stretch anymore. Now, oh, here we go. We're on our last leg right now. We are on our last leg. We have one float stone in the deck. And I th think the play is to just Juniper for it. We have to get the float stone here. Put another energy on the active, I guess. But uh, attaching a frost moth won't make a difference, in my opinion. Well, it could. We can Aurora Beam kill the cram. Do we have their superior though? Yeah. Okay, we can touch Kyogre. We don't have to touch Frost Moth. Because I guess if we hit something and they don't get killed, we can do that. We need to find Floatstone here. We did whiff it, yeah. We got Guzma for next turn. So we can Guzma knock out the Eldegoss. We'll see. This is not looking good though, guys. We're actually getting bodied by a Decidueye deck because we have an unfortunate weakness to grass. This is kind of bad. Well, we have to knock out the Dartrix, though, before we KO the Cram. We KO the Decidueye. They won't have another attacker. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we have to float stone them now. Well, they still can't one-shot me. Okay, I knew they played Crushing Hammer. Why did I know that? I don't know. I'm glad I put the extra energy on. I figured they would play that stupid crap. Okay, we have to knock out the Decidueye. Yeah, they attack. We have to kill the Decidueye here. Bro, this is way closer than it should be, bro. I told you, EXs, man, they're power crept. They are power crept out of the format. Okay. Do we have a Fighting Fury Belt left? We do. I think it's prized. Okay. We need to find Floatstone. That's very much not a Floatstone. We have to we have to get the decision where we lose. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. I guarantee it. I can Cynthia. I can Cynthia and then have one card left in the deck. And that one card is a Floatstone, we lose. I could end them also, but I'd rather... I think Cynthia's just a better play. Floatstone has to be not the last card. Oh my god, I thought it was. Alright, we're good, we're good. And this gets a knockout. We have game in hand on the on the Eldegoss. We just have to not get field blowered or end to one or end to two. We have game next turn. 
we have game next turn. That was intense, bro. I was like, oh, please don't tell me the Floatstone's last card in the deck. I don't think we would have lost. No, we would have. They had Gust in the hand. We would have lost if we didn't get Floatstone there. All right, Kyogre, take us home, baby. Take us home. Look at the look at our board state, bro. We got many mucks. Oh, no. They can Eldegoss it back in the deck. Oh, no. Okay, hopefully they bench something we can KO then. They're only doing 100 damage. They're not knocking me out. Oh, but now we get decked out. Are we just going to lose because deck out? They literally could have won the game if they just gusted this muck, actually. I did not expect them to attack with the Eldegoss. No, dude. That's so bad. Catcher. What are they doing? Knock out the muck, please. They're 10 damage short. We lost. We got decked out. I think that's an L. Um... Bro, no way. I... Th yeah, we lost. We can't move the muck. That's so disappointing. We Look at... Oh, we came so close to winning, bro. We were one attack away from winning the game. If we didn't whip the floatstone there, we would have been fine because we weren't getting decked out. I think it's literally impossible. Yeah, it's impossible to win. We're gonna have to take an L here to my opponent's Decidueye deck. I mean... It's unfortunate. I mean, look at our board state, bro. We have the Mux, the Fro. I mean, I think we're I think we're not KOing them, right? Yeah. We lost. I I don't believe it. This is why it sucked to lose that stretcher, man. Having the stretcher would have been so good in this late game. Um, that'll be it for the video, guys. On the Kyogre deck, I think I think I'm done at making this deck try to work. Um, but overall, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed some Kyogre action. That was a pretty intense last game. It's unfortunate that we had to take an L there. If only we played four floatstones, which maybe we should play four floatstones. To be honest, I don't know what I would take out for a fourth floatstone. There's nothing really to like take out. I guess like the Aqua's ad making a cut. I thought I wanted to try it out because you know it's an Aqua card. You know it's got that beautiful little Aqua symbol on it. But I, it was kind of useless. I think we can cut the Aqua admin for like another floatstone. To be honest, I think four floatstone might be necessary because we would have we would have won the game there had. They, had we not have been trapped, if we had a fourth flow in the deck, we would have won the game because we could have just went a retreat, KO the Eldegoss. Didn't work out that way. That'd be it for the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, guys. On the Prime or the Kyogre EX deck, the Team Aquas Kyogre, really cool card, beautiful artwork, one of the best full art artworks ever. We just couldn't make it work, unfortunately, for today. We took an L there at the end. We got two dubs. The mucks were really cool. The mucks were really kind of clutching this. Uh, video but uh, that'll be it hope you guys enjoyed today's video guys if you did leave a like subscribe down below if you're new to the channel help me on the reaching 16,000 subscribers um uh, check out my patreon my twitch my twitter all that stuff down below have a good day and i will try to get out a team magmas groudon deck soon it's a bit clunkier because there's no real fighting energy acceleration other than like groudon and carbon break so i'm trying to make that work if i can't make it work i will get that video out i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys later